morning from Shepherd's Heart Fellowship. I am Marcia Troop. I work with the Christian Education team and with the Missions and Evangelism team. And sometimes I help with the music. Today we're going to be continuing with 100 Days of Love by Thomas Kareth. We're starting with the 33rd Day of Love. And it is titled, Loving Strangers. The memory verse for the day is from Jeremiah 2.25. And I've chosen to keep this in the King James Version. I have loved strangers. The prayer, O Lord, help me to love every stranger I meet today. The affirmation, today every stranger will be a friend in love. The scripture lesson is from Matthew 25, 34 to 41. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. The righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in, or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, Truly, I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you who are cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. The meditation is, If you have ever been alone or and a long way from home, and you have met a stranger who was very loving and kind, then you know the value of the virtue of loving strangers. Every friend you have was once a stranger to you. Every stranger you meet is probably someone's friend. To turn a stranger into a friend is one of the finest, most intelligent arts of Christian living. Have you ever heard of it said of another, he never meets a stranger? Maybe this is life at its best. To make it easy, for the stranger to be at home with you is one of life's greatest gifts. Jesus is never a stranger to anyone who wants him as a friend. For Jesus' sake, you can be a friend to every stranger you meet. Day 34 is about loving obedience. The verse is from Psalm 119, 127, the first part. I love your commands. The prayer is, O Lord, forgive me for not always loving thy commandments. And the affirmation, Today I will love to obey God. The scripture lesson is from John 14, 21 to 27. Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love them and show myself to them. Then Judas, not Judas Iscariot, said, But Lord, why do you intend to show yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus replied, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love him, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Anyone who does not love me and not obey my teaching, these words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. All this I have spoken while still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give you as the world gives. Do not let the hearts be troubled. And do not be afraid. The meditation to go with loving obedience is, Have you ever thought of the reasons why people obey commands? One, there are people who obey because they are afraid. Sometimes children are afraid of their parents. 
too. There are people who obey because they are paid to obey. A hired person may do what he is told to do. Third, there are people who obey because they hope for some extra reward. And four, there are people who obey because they are in the habit of doing what they are told. And five, there are people who obey because they love the one who gives the commands and they believe in his wisdom. Christian obedience is to love God and to love his commandments. And this is life at its best to love his authority, and to have the authority of love. And day 35 is about sharing love. The verse is from Romans 5, the last part. God's love has been poured out into our hearts. The prayer is, fill my heart, O God, with thy love. Affirmation, today I share his love through my love. The scripture lesson is from Romans 5, 5 to 10. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. You see, just at the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were sinners, Christ died for us. Since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? For if while we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son, how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? And the meditation is, love has a way of multiplying. We're into arithmetic today. You must loose the love and let it go. Love that is sent out with the hope of some reward in return may turn into a dead orbit of selfishness. It is said that all the words we have ever spoken out loud are still in motion. We cannot recall them. Christian love, released in the power of the Holy Spirit, goes on and on. You are the love object today of many generations and of many people who send out love. There are people who love everybody. There are people who do not love anybody. Which way do you choose? To hold love is to lose love. To release love is to possess and multiply your love. When we give love, we receive love, and our life and our love is multiplied. And that's all for today. We'll see you next week. Have a great day.